former BYU tight end, now approaching and pursuing an NFL dream, and he's got a lot of good things going for him right now. Devin, now you have been invited to the Senior Bowl uh, after a nice performance uh, in the previous game. How did this Senior Bowl invite come about? Hey, guys. What's up? How's it going? Good. Great. How much your favorite promo co-host? <laughs> we are good. <laughs> we, are, we are fantastic. Devin, uh, first of all, congratulations on getting to the Senior Bowl. What was your reaction when uh, you found out you were going to be playing in a second game? Oh, guys, I was, I was so stoked. Um, I, uh, you know, just finished the NFLPA game Saturday. And, you know, thought I was going to have some time to relax a little bit. And then Sunday morning, uh, Phil Savage, Calls me and he's like, "Hey, you want to come to the Senior Bowl in Alabama?" And I was like, "Oh my goodness, this is really happening!" Um, so I uh, got on the phone with the secretary, and that was this was like at nine o'clock in the morning. And then two o'clock, I was on a plane to Mobile, Alabama. It happens fast. Um, yeah, and uh, you've leveraged kind of this postseason experience as something that you hope uh, will help you on draft day, help you at least. You know, sign with the team if that doesn't work out. What's this? Uh, what have the past uh, week and a half been like for you? Oh, just just so crazy. Um, you know, it's it's been a it's been a huge roller coaster. You know, you go from meeting with scouts all day and then going to practice, and then you you got to meet with financial advisors who are want to you know you know you they have you t- they they talk and you know give them your spiel or whatever, but it's just, it's, it's a whole different world. So what kind of reaction uh, have you gotten from scouts and uh, teammates and coaches, according to your performance uh, in the NFL PA bowl and now uh, at practice during the senior bowl? Yeah. Um, you know, they, everyone's just so proud of me and, you know, I just I try my best to work as hard as I can and make the most out of this opportunity. And so, you know, just to, be here in Mobile with, you know, a lot of great players is just, just a blessing. Give us an idea of what your schedule's like on average the past week and a half. Okay, let's see. Past week and a half. Um, well, at the NFL PA game, I woke up at 6.30 in the morning to go to bre- uh, for breakfast, and then we practiced at 8. And then that was about three hours. Then so we'd come back for lunch, and then we would meet for three hours, and then dinner, and then after dinner, it's just all interviews with scouts. And so all 32 teams are here. Um, you know, they, they have about five scouts for each team, and they just kind of come up to you, and you sit down, and you just talk and talk and talk and talk. And it's basically going to be the same thing here at the Senior Bowl, except for there's uh, quite a bit more boosters. So you go to banquets, you go to events, uh, along with meeting with scouts and practice. So, What do you do to relax? I- Ice bath. <laughs> an, ice I, bath. an ice bath? Yes, because by the time I get done with my days at about 11 o'clock at night, I fill up the tub with ice and just sit in there and, you know, try to rejuvenate my body. And that's really the only relaxation that I, I have time to fit in my schedule. I'm the same way. I go home and I go, man, I had a stressful day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Stop. ice in the tub because my mind has been so stressed. Yeah, no, De- no, Devin no, Mahina yeah. lives no, in a world. You live in a world where an ice bath in is how you relax and the rest of us least, do not. Yeah, at least for this past week and a half, you know. I'm going to have to go home on Sunday and, you know, kind of take a day or two off and just let my body recuperate. Devin Mahina joining us as he prepares for the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama, former BYU tight end on BYU Sports Nation. What's the best piece of advice you've received from uh, an NFL coach, I guess, during the NFL PA and uh, the Senior Bowl weeks? So I've had the opportunity to work with the Jaguars coaching staff. And, uh, man, these, these, are, these are some great guys, and they have a lot of wisdom. And, uh, you know, Probably the best thing I've learned so far is uh, to be a dominant competitor. So what that means is, you know, maximizing your abilities through internal forces uh, while at the same time making your uh, teammates better. And so that's really the kind of guy that uh, teams are looking for is, you know, somebody who's internally motivated, but at the same time is going to make his teammates better. That's all nice. That's all really nice. Would you like our advice? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, what do, you, what do you guys have to say? I've got, I've got one for you. Here we go. Hurdle a dude in the <laughs> Senior Bowl. 
get <laughs> noticed in a in a different way by doing something that's I don't know a little BYU esque. What do you think? Yeah, you know, a lot of kids they you know I've had a lot of conversations about BYU and you know these kids don't really have any idea you know, what we go through and I kind of tell them about the honor code and they're just all shocked, just like man, how do you guys do that? You know, I'm just like. No, it's just a way of life for us, and, uh, you know, we just have morals and values, and we, you know, we stick to them. So, you know, and they're, all of them are thoroughly impressed with, you know, how BYU players did are. You, did you tell them, well, we have this serious advantage because we go on missions, and we're just so much <laughs> yeah. older and more mature than everyone? <laughs> My favorite yeah. thing ever. <laughs> yeah, every time, every time uh, if I've played against them in the past, they're like, man, you guys are big and physical, and so... You know, I think that's kind of good. You know, BYU has a reputation of being, you know, physical team. So, <laughs> and that's good because I'm I'm just tired of people being like, well, they got two years to just lift weights. I'm like, you have no idea what happened on a yeah. mission, man. Yeah. Devin Mahina. So all, oh, go ahead, Devin. Oh, I just saying, you know, when they find out I've, I've been, you know, Madagascar for the past two years, they're like, oh my goodness, they're just so shocked. But Devin you know, Mahina with us on BYU Sports Nation, Devin. Uh, pushing it forward now to the NFL, obviously you want to play in the league. and make You didn't have any advice for Devin? I have No, he doesn't need advice from me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> so let's, let's talk about things relevant. There's nothing I can tell Devin. That he All right, does. You he has got the one piece hurt. of advice, just hurdle. That's it. Okay, yeah, you can tell him to hurdle, whatever. Well, <laughs> you want to make a 53-man NFL roster. Whether a hurdle will get you closer to that or not is, is to be determined. But what are your expectations for getting to the NFL? Um, you know, my expectations is just to get better every day. You know, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to find out what I need to work on. And so, you know, when I get back to training, I'm going to have specific things that I'll work on every day. You know, that way when pro day comes, you know, I'll be able to show the scouts, like, you know, show them that I'm a good player. So that's the plan. Do you expect to get drafted, and if not, at least to sign with a free agent uh, and, and with I the do. team? I do. You know, it's, it's been my dream my whole life to you know play in the NFL. You know, and if 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 I don't get drafted, you know, I'm 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 not going to be sad because you know there's the free agent route is uh, you know another uh, opportunity to still to still make the 53 man roster. So you know, my goal is just to get to get my foot in the door. Well, you've played with a number of guys that uh, went the free agent route, Daniel Sorensen and Wani Unga and Spencer Hadley. Which former Cougars are you contacting to help yourself prepare for uh, the approaching draft and, and what you can do? Yeah, so I've talked to a lot of players. Uh, I've talked to Fuli, Manasse, uh, Vic Soto. Um, so those guys have, you know, really reached out and help, helped me, you know, answer my questions. And so, uh, you know, it's as I'm trying to learn as much as I can because, you know, you only get one chance at this opportunity. Do you still have that blonde patch of hair in the back? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> have you re-dyed it since the season? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, but, you know, maybe I'll do a little bit more. You know, I need to, I need to find some, some way to stand out. Now, your wife is a, is a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Like, how does she feel about the blonde patch in the back? Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully she tweets at you guys in a couple minutes and she'll, she'll let you know. <laughs> she did retweet me a moment ago. So I'm, yeah, we uh, are she is, waiting she is the tweet. Lindsay, what's up? We, we want to give you the karma before we forget, by the way. We want to give you the BYU Sports Nation karma that the Senior Bowl will be fruitful and awesome, that you'll hurdle someone, and that that will lead to greatness for you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I scored a touchdown in one-on-one dread zone yesterday, and I spiked it like Gronkowski. So. <laughs> I, know, I know the commentators got pretty mad at me about that, but, you know, I, I got you know, you to take every opportunity you can. Listen, I'm telling you, there's value to sticking out. Uh, obviously, if you do things right off the field, on the field, you can figure things. No, no one has issues with a guy that's too... Uh, aggressive on the field. It's off the field where you have issues. So if you spike it, you're hurting a guy, you have a little personality, that'll, get, mm-hmm. that'll make you stick out. No, this brings up an issue, Devin. Yeah. Can, you, can you not celebrate in the Senior Bowl the way that you would in an NFL game? Are, are the college rules still applicable to this game? No, no. It's all NFL rules. Mm. So, you know, we use NFL uh, hashes and, and NFL balls. And, you know, if you fall down, you can get up and run. So it's all NFL rules. 
Are all the balls uh, inflated properly at the <laughs> senior bowl? <laughs> this is a serious I question. So. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Know, I don't know what the Jaguars are doing. But no I Patriot? Think, no. Well, the Patriots are busy. They're not there hanging out, probably. So. Yeah. Okay, we're yeah. Good. We're Listen, good. Devin Mahina prefers 12.5 PSI in all of his <laughs> NFL footballs. <laughs> Hey, Devin, best of luck to you. Great to talk to you uh, as you, you prepare guys. for the thank Senior you. Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, enjoy the karma. Congratulations on the success that you've had thus far, and good luck uh, in the game. Thank you. Thank you very much.